Hi everyone, hope you're doing okay during this level 4 lockdown currently. Speaking of the level 4 lockdown, Auntie Cindy just announced that we're going to be going into level 3 by midnight Tuesday, so technically Wednesday, so that's really exciting to hear. One thing that we do need to keep in mind though is that it's pretty similar to level 4. The only exceptions are that we can open up our bubbles to close family, close relatives, um, people who are by themselves, so people who are currently alone during this lockdown, they're allowed to come into our bubbles. Do keep in mind that bubbles still have to be strict and quite closed off, so please keep that in mind when extending the bubble. And don't forget to be scanning in and wearing face masks whenever you leave the house. While we are still in lockdown, your physical well-being is also very important to be keeping up. Even though we can't go very far, it's still good to be able to go outside, get some fresh air, a change of pace, and it also can help you feel energised. And on that note, I'll hand it over to Tasman. Hi everyone, I hope your lockdown's been going okay. Um, I know this week was meant to be tournament week, which is a bit... Um, but disappointing because obviously we can't go and everything and I know this has been the second this is the second year that it's been cancelled which is quite unfortunate and it's okay to be feeling down because obviously it is one of the highlights of the year tournament um but just remember that everyone like everyone that was meant to be going all across New Zealand will be feeling the same way as you guys um so it's okay if you I'm not really feeling too like motivated this week but um, make sure that you do stay active and it'd be good if you guys, everyone can get 20 to 30 minutes of exercise a day. I know that um, it really, what, what I find is that I study much better when I do get exercise. Um, even if that's just like a walk or a slow jog, anything like that or a workout and at 1pm um, Jacinda and Ashley do their um, update on TV so if you chuck that on on your TV at 1pm and this is a little workout idea so whenever they say team of 5 million you do 4 push ups location of interest 5 star jumps be kind 5 crunches get a test 2 burpees wastewater 8 mountain climbers contact tracing 4 squat jumps and if you want to do a little bit extra every time they say delta you do 8 high knees um, so give that one a go it's just a little bit of fun and if you're finding it too easy then you just add more reps or add in more words and you can just add the exercises in um, but yeah I hope you guys are enjoying lockdown so far um, hopefully it doesn't go on for too much longer because I know I'm starting to get a little bit bored but yeah, I'll see you later. Hi everyone, this Wednesday the 1st at 1 o'clock, the Academic Council are holding a General Knowledge Kahoot competition. It's over Microsoft Teams call in the Careers Notices tab. It's going to be a lot of fun, so come along and join us. Thank you Connie and Tasman for those very helpful tips. I cannot stress enough how important your well-being and yourself means to us here at Avonside Girls High School. We want to make sure you have the best opportunities in and outside of lockdown at all times. So please do not hesitate to contact us at any point, whether you just want to have a chat or just ask some questions. We're always here. Moving on, you may or may not know that the Ministry of Education and NZQA have moved our exam dates out two weeks. This means that they'll begin on the 22nd of November, and go on into December. Don't worry, they are not going over Christmas. If you would like a copy of the new NZQA um, timetable, it is on their website. However, if you do not have access to this or do not know how to find it, feel free to flip me a message and I'll send it right through or any of our other student leaders. I know that this may be frustrating to some of you guys that the exams have moved, however we need to remember that there are people in lockdown who do not have access to internet or computers. So the positives out of this is that you have extra study time to study for your exams, you have extra um, time to catch up on any assessments that you guys may have fallen behind on, as well as on more opportunities to get extra credits in your class. This is amazing, so please thank your teachers for these opportunities. Now, I hope you guys had an amazing weekend, but now we're back onto to online learning, so have a good week, and kakite girls!